Britannia is a British patriotic song. It originates from the 1740 poem Rule Britannia by James Thompson. It was set to music by Thomas Arne in the same year. It is most commonly associated with the Royal Navy, but it is also associated with the British Army. Rule Britannia is also traditionally performed at the last night of the proms, which takes place each year at the Royal Albert Hall, London. What, or who, is Britannia? Britannia is the national personification of Britain. She is depicted as a female warrior, holding a trident and a shield and wearing a helmet. Originally, Great Britain was called Albion. The oldest evidence of this name comes from the Greek language. In the mythical story of the founding of Britain, Albion was a giant and the son of Poseidon, the Greek god of the sea. Great Britain was called Albion by the Romans who invaded Britain in 55 BC. The Roman conquest of the island began in AD 43, leading to the establishment of the Roman province known in Latin as Britannia. The Latin word referred to England and Wales. The Romans created a goddess of Britannia, wearing a centurion helmet and a toga, with her right breast exposed. She appeared on Roman coins as a more regal looking female figure. She was often seated in a reclining pose. After the Roman withdrawal in the 5th century AD, the term Britannia was still used in Britain and abroad. You might have to get that in a bit. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a, a bit of a pause. Pause. And <laughs> Abroad. <laughs> abroad, so just tighten that up a little bit. <laughs> Do you want to roll with that? Obviously not. No, no, no. You, <laughs> you just obviously weren't quite happy with it. Well, there, there was too much of a pause. I thought there was too much sort of suspense oh, right. there. Yeah, okay. And you know, the outcome abroad wasn't that exciting after that big, you know, build up. <laughs> yeah, it could have been, and across the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that would have been awesome. Unfortunately not, I don't no. think. No. In the 16th and 17th centuries, during the reign of Elizabeth I, Britannia again became used as a personification of Britain. The English Navy successfully defeated the Spanish invasion. This portrait commemorates the defeat of the Spanish Armada, depicted in the background. Elizabeth's hand rests on the globe, symbolising her international power. This, combined with a strong female monarch, saw a return of Britannia as an image of the English national strength. On the 20th of October 1604, James VI of Scotland, who was also James I of England, proclaimed himself as King of Great Britain, France and Ireland, a title that continued to be used by many of his successors. In this cartoon by James Gilray, Britannia mourns the death of Horatio Nelson at the victorious Battle of Trafalgar on the 21st of October 1805. In the Victorian period, when the British Empire was rapidly expanding, Britannia was often shown brandishing Neptune's trident and a shield with the British flag on. She was sometimes depicted standing by the ocean or before ships, often with a lion, England's national animal, representing Britain's naval power. This 1914 Russian poster depicts the triple <laughs> intenti. Entente. Entente. Uh, intenti. <laughs> intenti. This 1914 Russian poster depicts the triple entente. 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 <laughs> This 1914 Russian poster depicts the Triple Entente. Britannia is on the right, with an anchor showing Britain's association with the sea, and the French Marianne on the left, and Mother Russia in the centre. Britannia was featured on all modern British coinage series until the redesign in 2008. It still appears annually on the gold and silver Britannia Bullion Coin series. Britannia, the female personification of the British Isles, has featured on every printed Bank of England note. The term Cool Britannia was a name for the period of increased pride in the culture of the United Kingdom. This was during the mid and second half of the 1990s, inspired by swinging London from 1960s pop culture. We've actually made videos about Cool Britannia and swinging London. See our links in the description. Britannia is also depicted in the Brit Awards statuette, the British Phonographic Industry's annual music awards. The Encyclopaedia Britannica, which is Latin for British Encyclopaedia, is a general knowledge English language encyclopaedia. The company has existed since the 18th century. The Royal Yacht Britannia is the former Royal Yacht of the British monarchy. She was in service from 1954 until 1997. During her 43-year career, the yacht traveled 
travel more than a million nautical miles around the world. She is now permanently berthed at Leith in Edinburgh, Scotland, where it is a visitor attraction with over 300,000 visits each year. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give us a like and hit subscribe to follow us on YouTube.